What's up guys? This is Titan Fix and I'm gonna show you how to fix shit on your ride and your gym. But you're gonna do the brakes, we're gonna do the drum brakes, and you know what? All we need is dopey water and this wrench and you're done. Yes, guys, this is the T3 rack uh, for $250, the wall-mounted rack. I bought one, and then I bought another one, and I got a couple extra 12-inch, um, what the fuck do they call those? Rack attached? Rack fucking adjusters? Rack fucking things? Shit. Anyway... <laughs> I should have came prepared for this shit. But you know, I do shit on the fly. That's why I'm MC Titan. And it's not, you know, staged or anything. You just get the real deal. But uh, check check this uh, rack out. I put two of them together, 12 inches apart to have some space so I can line up my, my weights. As you can see, the urethane plates. I went with those. I really like them. Um, I kind of, you know, I, I'm a rookie at this shit, right? So. I put my tower in first from a, a company called Archon, and then I built my rack around it. And I kinda, I didn't do one board, you know, across like everybody did. I kinda did one board for each side, you know what I'm saying? I got these big ass bolts from uh, Home Depot. I, I pretty much, you know, just threw a million freaking bolts into the wall just to, this one wouldn't go down all the way in, so I used it as a peg, and I was like, oh, that's a good idea. Use this as an attachment. Um, let's go over here. Same thing on the other side. It was probably more work by doing it like that, but it works and it's it's pretty stable. I mean, if I do get on it, sometimes I hear a crack. I'm hanging on the um, pull-up bar right now. I did bolt the first two racks to the floor. I drilled through the concrete and I put one bolt on the foot plate to keep it in place. And then when I did attach this one, I didn't bolt it down. And so far so good, it doesn't move. I also put an extra bar, a pull-up bar back here to keep it stabilized back here. Um, I got the pull-up here to keep it stabilized in the front. I did customize my rack a little bit. I put these um, stickers on here so I can know the levels. And at first I was putting uh, tape around because I watched a YouTube video where this would be like my squatting position and then somewhere down here would be my bench press position. But then I added this and then I was like, you know what, I don't want to do that all over again. Maybe I'm lazy, but it is what it is. And this ain't show biz, but I do got some kids. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. And these are my attachments. I'm going to go over the attachments that I have purchased so far for the rack and their purposes over here you got the roller which can roll out any kinks in your body your back you know anywhere you want to go with it your thigh if you want to and if you feel tight in certain spots then this can roll it out which uh, my back for most of my life has been like hurting getting lower back pain I rolled it out one day with this and it was like a miracle. It was like, it was freaking gone, but it wasn't gone forever, but it was freaking gone for that moment. Um, right here, we got the uh, neural grips. What I do with this is I put it on here if I had the T3 attachment, and then I could do like pull-ups with this. Or I can actually put it on the pull-up bar if I wanna have like some kind of swing to it, but it's more like, that would be tougher and it would be a balancing act, but then it probably would hit your core better. Um, but I also was gonna use these for my axle bar and get over a, a bench, and then I was gonna do like uh, some, some rows, some seal rows or whatever you call them. Now let's go to the J-hook options. This is what normally comes with your, your rack. Um, as you can see, it's got the UH fucking WXYZ plastic. <laughs> I hate saying that fucking UHMD. 
But as you can see, compared to the sandwich J cups and the regular J cups, the sandwich ones are much larger. Um, it's all one piece of plastic compared to this one. I actually preferred this for my um, a couple of movements, but these are good because you can really, if you go heavy, you can hit that really hard and it just feels more secure. But, you know, either one is a good option. I just like to have the variety. Right here, you've got the uh, wrist roller. You can attach it to your rack and you can uh, put a kettlebell or some weights to this. And then you could just do your wrists and do this all day and be like, oh yeah, that feels good. Oh, that burns. Oh yeah, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to daddy. All right. <laughs> and then you've got these uh, squatter fucking attachments. Yeah, that's what they are. You know, I didn't even look up the names or nothing and I came very unprepared for this video. But you know what? I feel like I needed to get this video in because it's been a while. And anyway, you put this on the rack. You hold on to these. It's kind of kind of sideways like this. Right? You put your safety squat bar, whatever squat, and you just go down and you squat and you got something to hold on to. Or you could just use this as a dildo for your for your wife or you know your side chick and of course we've got the spotter arms look at that length of plastic there's plenty of room to drop 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 you know what i mean and it goes on here <clears throat> pretty easy line up the holes get it on the other side get the other one put the pin in and you got a good extension and we're over here, I've got the dip bar attachments. Here comes the larger stuff. I just showed you the smaller stuff. Ugh. Whoa. Slip it in there, slip in the other one. Let me get the other one. It ain't a demonstration unless you let the homies have some. Oh, see? Sometimes you line it up wrong and that's the only thing you got to kind of guess damn three more uh, That's a little off still Damn I'm an idiot. Oh Shit. Oh, yeah right there, and then you could just dip away. Oh look at me dipping. Oh shit. I'm dipping far. Oh man, I'm good at this. Oh shit. Oh, whoops. Did you see my legs? No, no, I gotta look this way. Oh yeah, I'm really dipping. Oh shit. Look at me, I'm dipping. Now for the super large T3 lever arms. Oh shit. Oh, I almost wrecked. See, look at that. Almost broke shit. These things are a little bit tough. Cause look at that. You wanna, you want, oh, you wanna pinch your fingers in that? I found that you have to do it like this though. You kind of gotta lift it up by this. Slide it in. Put the pin in. Let it go. Whew. And then you could do like this. If you don't have the pin in. That could fly out and fucking hurt somebody. I also forgot to mention that these T3 platforms, I have two of them. I have them attached to my wall strip here and I use them as desks, but these things would normally go on the rack and then you could do like, you know, slam balls and heavy bags and step ups and jump ups. But man, they make a really convenient desk when I don't want to have a desk in my home gym. So, oh yeah, you can also, I also use them for uh, plyometrics. I put them side by side and I kind of have an angle plyometrics where I go side to side, side to side in my hoo ride. 